Welcome back to Euro Truck, guys. Welcome back to the channel. We are back in our favorite construction site as we are taking the wheel loader. Uh, so this truck does not have a GPS unit, so I will have to use the side screen. But yes, now we have to try to get out of here. We're taking the wheel loader to a BHP in France. I'm not sure if it's a maintenance shop or a mine. But that's where they've got us heading. Okay, my engine brake is on. And lucky for us, we've already got weather moving in. It's going to be a pretty long trip. So I might time lapse some of it, but we'll see. Might be my first video where I have to time lapse some stuff in Europe. Or Euro truck. I don't think I've time lapsed anything in Euro truck quite yet. Yeah, we're just going to stay in one low. Working our way out of this mine. Because uh, there is traction control now, there is wheel slip. So if I punch the gas, I might actually lose traction and be in trouble here. Stay in a low gear and crawl my way out of here. I also turned on the. I switched it back to kilometers so we know how fast we're going in kilometers now. Uh, I've also turned on the adaptive cruise control and I've also turned on the emergency braking system. So we'll see how that operates. I don't know if this was the right truck to turn it on because I'm not really sure if this make and model year has the safety controls, but we'll see. Yeah, this is the section I was worried about right here because this just feels like loose dirt. This doesn't feel like anything compacted or paved. It, just, it felt like loose dirt because I was sliding all the way in here. if I could see what I was doing. But weather is weather. Nothing you can really do about it. But yes, we are heading over to France, I believe. I think that's where we're heading is France. anybody coming. Thought that was a car or not. What was that? Oh, probably the uh, invisible wall. That's probably what that was. tell you what it did do. It scared the hell out of me. <laughs> yeah, that woke me up. That was interesting. Never seen it do that. The wheel, like, almost ripped itself out of my hands to avoid uh, the wall. Is this a bus lane? Am I supposed to be in this lane? Probably not. 
Looks like we got some really interesting roads up ahead too. It's weird too because I have the rain setting set to like so low, yet it still likes to rain. Oh, and I did, I did have the, uh, the truck governor on. I didn't notice that. So, apologies for that. I thought the truck would only go 56 as we were doing quick jobs. Nope, I had that setting turned on. When I went in there to change all the other stuff, I was like, oh, look, that's on. My bad. So, that's on me. I just totally missed some sort of turn because this just went from like 500 miles to like 700 or kilometers I should say. It's gonna get us in this truck. 1,200 and Okay, so we're good on that. Good, good, good. But yes, the weather is relentless today, apparently. And we're not gonna be there until 11 p.m. wall that the truck would have had to save us from. <laughs> I still can't believe I did that, although I'm really not surprised. Because, uh, like I said, I haven't been on your truck in a long time, and I started on the other side of the map where I usually don't start, so I don't know where the barriers are. I have to keep a really close eye on that GPS so I know 
is I wanted to turn off the flashing exit so it looks more realistic to you guys, but like I said, I don't know the area, nor do I know the map that well, so I have to be really, really cautious and watch the GPS. Well, the good news is we're up to 75,000, so maybe eventually we can buy our own truck. But the trucks are really expensive. I think the cheapest one's like 120 or 130,000. So we need like double what we have now. Oh, that was interesting. That was definitely the uh, adaptive cruise control kicking in as we were getting really close to that truck in front of us. Not really close, I set it to the furthest distance just to be safe. But I do like how that functions. That's really cool. Oh god, are they taking me off the highway to send me down some back roads again? I know the back roads are the Pretty part of this game, but the goal is to make money and move as much freight as possible. But scenic views are also really, really fun as well. that? What are you so mad about? That must be the uh, collision system kicking on and off as I maybe turned that corner a little too tight possibly. I'm not quite sure what I did right there to make it mad. But it's interesting how fast it kicked on though. So it must be like a chime and then a lockdown. That's what I keep hearing, is I keep hearing the chiming. Like I was close, but not close enough to activate it. Possibly. Truck's really uh, struggling with the weight.
must be France. This is the border. Yep, France. Okay, cool. So we're in France already. Still got quite a long way to go. That was a really sharp corner if we're going that fast. I think we're going to drop it down to like 5 under the speed limit. Because that was really sketchy. 80. You want me to do 80 on this road? I say nay nay. After how much my truck just leaned over? Nuh uh. I'd rather be late than on my side. Brand new Volvos. Mm. Hey, if you wanted me to do 80, why didn't you put me on the highway? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not doing 80 on a backcountry road like this. There is no way. I like that Oshkosh fire truck, that's really cool. I don't feel like I've ever seen one of those before in this game. Dude, that's like highway speeds. Aren't we like in a town? Get this other lane. Get onto the highway. Strasbourg discovered. First French town, I believe, we've seen. please. Thank you. I dislike those interchanges right there. I, I don't like them. I always end up with the wrong lane.
Really? The speed limit is 90. lane. Don't like that. Don't do it. Let me over. Thank you. I saw that car shift over like he wanted to pass us, so I wanted to get over. Well, if we do 85 all the way there, we can make up some time, I guess. Impressive though, speed limit with 90. I feel like on the Autobahn we were only allowed to do 80. Well, that's weird. This, this one allows us to do 90. Maybe this trip won't be as long as I thought it was going to be then. But I hope the road's nice and flat and not curvy because. New and 90, we will definitely flip this thing over if there's a sharp curve or something. probably looks funny to you guys for how much I slow down for these corners, but unlike most people that you know make videos on this game, I have my physics turned way, way up, so if I take a corner too hard, or if I flip the wheel, the truck will want to flip over, because I have my suspension turned down, my cab stiffness turned down, my brakes turned down, so everything feels how it should. the real feeling of it, the real physics. Not just, oh, I can't flip my truck over ever and I can do 140 kilometers all the way there and be there in five minutes. No. That's not real to me. That doesn't make it challenging. Oh, so that was the um... Oh, okay. Okay. I wanted to see what it would do. Oh, so do I have to manually shut off the hazards? Oh, okay. Hmm. I don't know if it applies the brakes fully by itself. I'm too afraid to try that. Because <laughs> I feel like I was getting awfully close before it engaged. It does work well though. I mean, it was it was warning me, which will definitely snap your attention back to front and center.
do like the distance uh, the adapter for cruise control too. I think that's going to help me in the long run too. I hate to say it, I'm a young fellow, but I do have bad joints, so sometimes after working all week it is hard to sit down and drive a truck for a couple hours. But I should be able to set the cruise control and forget it unless traffic comes to an absolute abrupt halt halt and the safety system kicks in. Set the adaptive cruise control to about 140 meters, which I'm not sure what that means in feet or length. I'm assuming it's probably a, a truck length or so. Almost to Leon, I just saw a sign for Leon. Leon, France. That's where we're heading. Still not going to be there until 11 o'clock, though. We've got four hours of our trip left. But France is quite pretty. So many different police cars now for like every country, so it's really hard to tell in the mirror. Like I didn't know that blue car was a police car until it passed me. And I saw the safety yellow on it. I believe it was a police car at least. At least our side of the highway is pretty bleak on traffic. That side looks like it's pretty packed. can't imagine having the uh, the safety stop feature now back on like Truckers MP way back in the day before combo was a thing on Euro Truck and ATS people just cutting you off pulling off right in front of you I'm sure those there's people probably on there trying to use it correctly and just getting locked up by people just cutting them off I'm almost positive that's a thing that's got to be happening on Truckers MP <laughs> I wasn't a huge fan of Truckers MP, one, due to just fell the trolls, and two, there was no AI traffic. I love, I love the convoy system that SCS put in. You can have up to eight players, you have AI traffic. I love all of that. 
that has made this game so much more fun. Being able to play with your friends and have a convoy and have all the AI traffic and stuff, it's made it great. Really super appreciative of the uh, convoy system by SCS. I thought they did a great job with it. So that must be more than 140 because he came over in front of us and the truck didn't slow down. So, so yeah, it's probably it's probably about a truck length if I had to guess. Now these, I believe these are nature bridges, which is one, super pretty, and two, super cool. So they put those in so I guess um, animals and stuff can cross the highway and not, you know, interfere with traffic and stuff. They don't run out in traffic and other things of that nature, which, I mean, brilliant. Super, super brilliant. I'm not sure how well they work, but the idea of it is really cool. Oh, that was a really sketchy corner with that truck right next to me. now before the sun goes down. There it goes. Really, really pretty though. Another road that seems super fast at 80 kilometers an hour, but it is what it is. What? Sounds like you get a small ghost out there. Something like that. 
Probably. No rush, but. Mm -hmm. That is the last one. She figured it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> tunnel. Not as long as I was hoping it was then. Leon. That's where we're heading. As long as like it's only 60 kilometers away though. Looks like it's going to be a quarry. I think I know which quarry this is, and if it is this quarry, this one's uh, interesting to get in and out of because it's so steep. Yeah, this is that quarry. I remember this one very well. And this was before like trash control and ABS were a thing. And if you didn't have enough, a strong enough truck to get out of here, you would just spin and spin and spin. Looks like they've definitely redone it since the last time I was here, though. It looks really well done.
Seems like they made an echo in here now too, which is really well done. Because it is just a big quarry, it should echo. I hope you guys enjoyed the trip. That's going to be it for me. And we'll see you guys in the next episode.